to Little House on the Prairie fans, Michael Landon will likely always remain a beloved father figure. But many have begun questioning the actor's legacy due to a number of troubling aspects surrounding his personal life. Before his death in 1991 from pancreatic and liver cancer, Michael was married three times and seemed to have a propensity for cheating. It was also revealed he engaged in some sexist behavior on the set of Little House on the Prairie. Join Facts First as we take a look at several tragic details that came out after Michael Landon's death. In addition to playing Pa Ingalls on Little House on the Prairie, Michael Landon was also a director and producer on the show. This meant he had a much bigger role behind the scenes than Karen Grassle, the actress who played Ma Ingalls. Although Pa and Ma may have been amicable and loving partners on screen, this relationship didn't carry over to the two stars' relationship on set. Although Karen came on to the show with a great deal of professional respect for Michael, she's claimed in the years since that she ended up despising him. Thankfully, Karen was able to set aside her differences with Michael Landon before his death from pancreatic and liver cancer in 1991. But she's made it her mission to talk about the poor behavior he exhibited on the set due to the fact she thinks people today can learn from it. When Michael exhibited sexist behavior on the set of Little House, Karen never spoke up for fear she'd be fired from the show. Today, she regrets this, as she feels she could have possibly helped show Michael the error of his ways. It seems her biggest gripe with Michael was that he could be a little bit of a bully. Karen came onto the show making the same paycheck per episode that the child stars that played her and Michael's on-screen children made. Michael made a good deal more. However, he justified this by saying he was also a director and producer on the show. While it's inarguable that Michael had a bigger role on the program behind the scenes, Karen was also clearly an important part of the show who deserved to be making more than the kids. Michael didn't take too kindly to Karen asking for a pay increase after bringing the discrepancy to his attention. Instead, he took to giving the character of Ma a reduced presence on the show and even started bullying Karen and making fun of her to the other cast and crew. Karen also didn't appreciate Michael's attitude on the set of the show in general. He could often be heard making misogynistic jokes to others on the set. Though some would laugh at his sexist antics, Karen would always become upset but she remained quiet about her feelings until much later. Due to the onset feud between Karen Grassle and Michael Landon, the character of Ma had a greatly reduced presence in later seasons. Not only was she given fewer scenes, but the scenes Karen did film were often cut out of episodes before they aired. In addition, Michael could often be seen making faces to mock Karen to the cast and crew while they were screening dailies. All Karen wanted was a fair wage comparable to what Michael was getting compensated for performing as the character of Pa. Instead, she was bullied on set. However, she still found it in herself to forgive her co-star before his 1991 death from pancreatic and liver cancer. Nowadays, Karen believes spreading the word about her feelings on the set can help embolden future generations of actresses to speak up when others are making inappropriate remarks or being treated unfairly. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First for more. And stick around for more about Michael Landon. Besides being known for Little House on the Prairie, Michael was also known for performing on the show Bonanza. It was on that set that Michael met the woman who became his second wife. Her name was Lynn No, and the two started an affair. This affair caused the dissolution of his first marriage, and he subsequently married Lynn. Years later, Michael began working on Little House on the Prairie and repeated this exact same situation with a stand-in named Cindy Clerico. This time, it was Lynn No who found herself the victim of a husband cheating on her with a much younger and more attractive actress. It seemed Michael had a habit of upgrading to newer models when it came to his life partners. This resulted not only in poor relationships with the various mothers of his kids, but also with some of his co-workers. Lynn No notoriously refused to attend Michael's funeral, telling her and Michael's children the actor was already essentially dead to her as a result of the divorce. But she maintained no negative feelings against Cindy, claiming that if it hadn't happened with her, it would have been someone else. According to Michael, his and Lynn's marriage was damaged beyond repair by the time he started his affair with Cindy, the same justification he had used many years prior when starting his affair with Lynn on Bonanza. Michael Landon and Lynn No were married in 1963 and divorced in 1982. They had four children together, and Michael also had two children from his previous marriage. Before starting his affair with Lynn No, he'd been married to a woman named Dodie Levy Fraser. 
Michael and Doty had two sons. Michael began his affair with Cindy Clerico in the early 80s. Cindy was a stand-in on Little House on the Prairie, in addition to being a makeup artist. The young actress was nearly half Michael's age. He claimed that his and Lynn's marriage had fallen apart, and beginning his new relationship with Cindy was the right thing to do. Regardless of whatever problematic incidents resulted in the union, Michael Landon and Cindy Clerico remained together until his death in 1991. Over 500 people, including Ronald Reagan, publicly memorialized the beloved star at a public ceremony. Before he died, co-star Melissa Gilbert almost didn't get to say goodbye. Like her on-screen mother Karen Grassle, the actress who had played Laura Ingalls had fallen away from Michael Landon on the set of Little House on the Prairie. However, this was because of the fact she had found out about his affair with Cindy Clerico. Michael and Melissa's relationship had previously been incredibly strong, and Melissa had viewed her on-screen father as a legitimate real-life role model after the early death of her own father. When Melissa found out about Michael cheating on his second wife, she was devastated. She had come to view Michael in the same light that TV audiences viewed the character of Pa Ingalls. Melissa found the actor who portrayed her on-screen father to be a strong and considerate man, though learning about the affair tarnished her image of him irreversibly. Melissa eventually came to terms with the fact that Michael Landon wasn't the hero she thought he was. Like Karen Grassle, she set aside her differences with him before his death in 1991, but she almost didn't get a chance to say goodbye. The actress was incredibly hesitant to make the fateful trip to officially say goodbye to her old on-screen father, always making some excuse for why the date had to be postponed. When it became clear Michael would die soon, she couldn't keep postponing her goodbye. On the day Melissa Gilbert was supposed to say goodbye, she was so hesitant to go, she essentially had to be forced by her husband. However, she was glad to have done it. Michael passed away in 91, and many have speculated in the years since that the cancer was caused by a nuclear reactor incident that had occurred during the 50s on the land that served as the set of Little House on the Prairie. One of Michael's many children is director Christopher Landon, known for making such horror features as Happy Death Day and its sequel. Recently, Christopher was diagnosed with cancer himself, though it was caught in time for surgery to take care of the problem. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think Michael Landon was a strong and gentle patriarch like his character on Little House, or was he a misogynistic bully? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.